What's going on guys, really good pie here and welcome to the first episode in the Create Your Own Website series. Um, in this series we'll be covering uh, various website languages including HTML, um, PHP and JavaScript. Um, so let's get started. Um, first off this is going to be a program that you need to download and uh, that's called WAMP and that's basically going to set up a local server on your computer but we won't be using this tool uh, later on in the series so you can download that here, links are in the description and yeah. um, next off you'll need notepad++ um, link will also be in the description and this is basically a text editor that we'll be using to write our programs and there we go so let's get started. Um, we do not need to run WAMP server at the moment, um, but yeah. So uh, there's no point having it running. It, it does slow down your computer because it's setting up a server on your computer. So let's get yeah. Uh, so what you're going to need to do is open up Notepad plus plus, and we're going to create the basic layout for a HTML document. So, uh, first things first, we're going to want to de uh, declare the document type. So, what this does is tell the browser um, what kind of document you're using. So, HTML, this is HTML. HTML is what the browser reads. So, it is basically um, the design for your website. So it's the layout, basically. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So it's just the markup of the, your page. So yeah, I don't know if that explained it well, but anyway. So doc type HTML. Uh, so it's this just basically declares that it's a HTML document. Um, not much more information needs to go into that. That's just basically what you write at the top of every um, file you create, or page you create. So, next thing's next. We're going to want to go through a few things. Um, the first one is tags. So this document type um, thing here is a tag. Now you'll notice that it has a, a greater than and less than sign. So that is what we use to surround the tag basically. So the next tag we're going to want to use is HTML and this tells us that um, we're going to start our HTML basically. Um, another thing with tags is you're always going to want to close them uh, besides this document type tag. So what we do to close a tag is we do a uh, forward slash and we type in the exact same thing that was in the tag. So if we go ahead and save this, we'll go to our desktop and create a new folder and we'll name this tutorial and we're going to want to save this as .html so we're going to name it index .html so that's going to be the file type and you'll notice that our notepad++ automatically recognizes the uh, beginning tag and the end tag and we can simply close that. So the next thing we're going to want to, the next tag we're going to use is the head. Now the head is not displayed on the page so um, this can be used to define like uh, describe your page, uh, add a title to your page, um, link style sheets which we'll get into later, link JavaScript files, which we'll also get into later, and various other types of things. So, go in between your HTML tags and press the Tab key, and it's going to indent your page. I'm going to run up type head. Uh, press Enter twice, and I'm going to want to close the head tag. Now you notice that Notepad plus plus has automatically done that thing again, which tells us that your ta uh, tags have been closed. Um, so next thing's next, uh, next thing next, um, we're going to want to type body, and this is going to be what's actually displayed on the page. So body, 
So um, a good way of putting this is the head is basically the brains. It tells the doc, uh, it gets everything ready for the doc for the web page basically, and describes it and does everything like that. The body is what we actually see. So um, if we want to type some text in here, we'll see the text and yeah. So um, next thing we're going to want to create is the title of our web page. Now we can do that by creating a, a tag called title, and without any other formatting, we can simply type this is a title. Now um, we're going to want to close the title tag, and if we click this, you're going to see where the title is actually opened and closed. It will be highlighted in purple, and that's the feature of Notepad Plus Plus. So. Um, for our first web page, I'm going to want to press tab and type hello world. Now save that. Um, go to wherever your uh, web page is located. Open the file. And go ahead and run that. Now it's going to open up in your default browser. And we can look at the things that um, we've created in our web page. So our title here this is the title, is put up here on this tab. You probably won't be able to see it like clearly because of my theme. And our hello world, which is in the body, is actually displayed on the page. So that's um, a basic web page that you've just created. Um, we'll go through another tag and we'll make it the text bold. Now I'm going to want to close the tag after of the actual bold text that we want. I'm going to refresh that. Sorry, save that and then refresh it. And you'll see, notice that it goes bold. So that's a basic web. <coughs> sorry, that's a basic web page that you've just created. Um, so let's run through it one more time. Whenever we create um, a H HTML document, we want to declare that the document is actually HTML, and that's a part of HTML5, I believe. Uh, next next tag we want to add is the actual HTML, and that declares when we're starting and ending the HTML. Now this is useful for when we add PHP to our documents, but we'll get to that later. Next thing we have the head, and this is basically the brains of the document, and then we have the body, and this is what we see in the document. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching, and please subscribe and give it a thumbs up.